What's up, Simonics, and welcome back to a new quick win. Today, we're talking about animations in Ionic applications using React. And I'm gonna show you two ways how you can implement this because Ionic has actually a great API to create animations from code, which we also uh, previously used with Angular. However, there's also a create animation component that we can use in almost the same way. So we're gonna explore both ways to implement pretty cool animations in our Ionic React application. If you wanna follow along, link to the quick win below the video for all Ionic Academy members and if you're still not a member of the Ionic Academy go check it out right now ionicacademy.com the place to learn everything Ionic. I'll hopefully catch you soon in the Ionic Academy but for now let's dive into today's quick win. Let's start with a blank new Ionic application, as always, this time using type React. And that's actually the only thing we need because the rest is part of the core of Ionic. So we can already close the commands as h file, which I created for you, and then generate a new file inside our components folder. So I'm gonna call this uh, action buttons.tsx. So those will be the buttons that we're gonna display in our page. I'll also create initially another action, no, action <laughs> buttons.css. So we can have a bit of CSS. Uh, within our action button, we're gonna use an Ionic. I do have a snippet for that. I, like, yeah, that's the snippet, nice. <laughs> that actually works. Uh, to create the action buttons. Uh, the action buttons will actually not really be an ion page, uh, but instead the buttons will be uh, just uh, two diffs. So we're gonna give them class names, we're gonna call them action buttons container, uh, and within that container we're gonna put an ion button that we're then gonna display. So let's put in test. Uh, that means we also can get rid of all the imports and then let's bring this component to our view by changing uh, the home TSX. So we're gonna get rid of, I uh, don't really need this part, I don't want the explore container. The only thing I want is really to show some action buttons. Uh, and then I can probably da -da -da -da, show you the preview here. So this is the button, it's not really exciting at the moment. Um, we could give that page a little bit of a different styling. Uh, let's do this, let's check out the ohm CSS and let's apply some styling. So this is the styling I used in my quick win. Oh, that's a nice touch of a color, right, ain't it? Um, we could also set uh, the mode to the of the header to iOS and use this for the toolbar as well. And I call this animations. Uh, yeah, that looks nice, that's good. Uh, we can get rid of the explorer container, you can also delete it if you want to, if it's confusing to use, so just remove it from your tree. <laughs> we gotta get an error, but we just need to hit save as far as I know. And then we can focus entirely on our action buttons. So for the beginning, I just want to have two buttons in here with icons. So for that button I'm going to use ion icon uh, and the icon that I want to use is um, close outline. However, uh, we need to import them manually because, I don't know, Visual Studio just can't do it. <laughs> and then we already got the X in here. Um, besides that, we're gonna say the ion button should please use the mode um, iOS as well. And we're also gonna uh, give it another class name so we can apply our own styling. Uh, this is the unmatch button. Um, as I said in the beginning, we're gonna have a second part as well. In that second part, we're gonna talk about gestures. This one is the beginning. So then, once we got that, we can also generate a second button that follows pretty much the same action. So we got this heart, did I change anything? The first button should look... Uh, mode, iOS, class name, unmatch, fill, solid. Like why does the second button <laughs> look different? Where's the difference here? Uh, is there any difference? Like, what? what? What is going on? Okay, now we got it. I just need to refresh. <laughs> that was crazy. Oh, damn. 
Um, and I also prepared a bit of CSS. Well, that CSS is not entirely um, meant for animations. It just gives the buttons a bit different shape. So we're gonna go through this in a second. However, if we hit save and refresh, uh, we should see that I probably applied the wrong class to my uh, action button component. So this should be action uh, action buttons container. Did I use a wrong word in here? Uh, action buttons container. Let's check this out. I should probably just use the whole screen make arc smaller. Um, action buttons container ion button. I feel like my reload isn't working. I think it does now. Uh, however, this is not really how it should look like. Uh, what did, where did I go wrong along the way? Um, let me check this out. Uh, we have the React import. Oh yeah, the good thing about React is that you need to do everything manually. So you also need to manually import the CSS, of course. <laughs> so once you do this, we got our initial view. I just wanted to create that view because A, it looks good, and B, we're gonna use this in the second part of our uh, series about animations and gestures. So really, this was just the beginning. Now we wanna use the create animation method to actually animate those two buttons. So we can import from Ionic React create animation starting lowercase. This is important because in the end, we will actually also use something uh, starting with uppercase. So let's give this a bit more space. We can probably even close it and just, um, I really like arc. I don't like that arc is automatically opening the sidebar whenever I go over it. No, anyway, um, what we need to do next is we're gonna wrap our buttons and give it a reference so we can access them from code. Uh, so we're gonna give, ooh, <laughs> that's certainly not what I wanna do. Uh, we're gonna give this a reference just like this and put a button in here. That means we can define this now. Uh, we're gonna call this one or let me quickly bring these two in. So we're gonna use an unmatch button ref and a match button ref. Uh, both of these uh, use use ref from the React core package, and then we can use it right here. Oh come on! I feel like my my keys are broken. Like I had this a few times today. Uh, I'm using the copy command C, uh, and it's just not working. Oh man, this is really annoying. Like you, 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 you expect this to paste your stuff and it's just not pasting it. However, now we've wrapped both buttons using our ref. Um, this by default <laughs> won't change anything. So now we can create actions to actually play an animation. And to do this, I'm gonna first of all define a little array of keyframes. So those are the keyframes for a pulse animation. So it goes from an offset zero to an offset of one along the animation. And then we do a little scaling, grow back, grow even more, go back even more. <laughs> no, you can't go back even more than, than where you started. Um, so once we got this, we can now create our functions. Uh, I'm just gonna call this um, play unmatch button animation, uh, uh, like always. And what we want to do is when we press the button and the button is set, we want to play that animation. So we first of all check if our unmatch button ref dot current is not equal null. So in that case, we can start and create our own animation using create animation. No, not create, <laughs> using create animation from the Ionic package what we just added up here. So within that uh, create animation, we can now do a bunch of things. If we press add uh, after making a dot, you can see there are actually a lot of things you can do. And we're just gonna touch a few of them, which means you can really build uh, quite extensive animations using create animation. And now we first of all add our element, which is of course the unmatched button ref dot current. Uh, then we say, okay, this should probably take like, <laughs> hello, please. Uh, this should, now you're, you know, now you're ridiculous, Visual Studio. Like, I wanna say, don't troll me, don't troll me. 
Don't mess with me, Visual Studio Code. I'm that close to learning Vim, really. I heard an episode from Prime, the Primagene, Primal Gene on, on the Syntax podcast where I was talking about Visual Studio Code and I was like, uh, probably I should also give Vim a try. However, uh, we're gonna stay for now in Visual Studio Code and create our animation just like this. And once you're done with this, the thing that I usually tend to forget is calling animation.play. This is really the most important part. And once we got all of this, we can, of course, add our on click to the button. So on click, we want to call uh, play unmatch button animation. And this should be the first button, right? So let's see. And yay, it works. I love it. So what's happening now is that we create an animation right in here in that function and immediately call play. We could have a lot more information in here. Uh, how many times we want to play it, if we want to do it reverse and uh, all kinds of funny things. However, uh, we don't really need this to uh, make a point for uh, create animation. We just now need the play match button animation uh, using the match button reference and then doing the same on click fun in here. So there we go. Hit save and now the heart works as well. Love it. That looks good. So this was the first part. This is a quite nice way to simply do this from code. However, Ioning also has a create animation component that we can use. And I just spent uh, probably one and a half hours to bug fixing something regarding a React release. And then the Ionic team just made a pull request and fixed it in like five minutes. <laughs> it was quite funny. I still would like to have my last hour of the live wag. But anyway, talking about an animation component. What we're going to do now is we can change this to be an uppercase C and create animation is actually a component, a pure component here. So let's see how we can use this component now. And we do it, let's first of all, let's comment this out for a second um, and then move here. So we got our, our ref, we don't really need the ref anymore right now. Um, and we can, can we, maybe we can just replace it. That makes sense as well. So let's use create animation in here. Uh, as I said, we don't really need the reference and I'm also going to do it for our second button. I'm going to remove the reference, uh, on click. Well, you're mad if I comment this out, right? So let's just comment out the internals and then, um, then we have wrapped our buttons, it doesn't actually look the same. Uh, so you don't really notice any difference uh, at this point, but we can now define our animation right on this create animation component. This is quite funny. So what we can do is we can put in everything that we had before, duration, iterations, keyframes on this button. Um, if we don't have anything, this won't play. So if I wanted to play this, and I'm gonna put this on my second one as well, just to make this complete. If I wanted to play this, I could set play to true and notice what happens. Well, it plays immediately in the beginning. However, most likely that's not really what we wanna have. Um, so maybe you have some animations that you wanna play right when your page loads. Uh, but usually you still want like the trigger or uh, something uh, to actually play the uh, animation at some point. So in order to do this, we are gonna now use uh, our reference. So the unmatch uh, button reference, we're gonna change this and now call this uh, a different way. I'm gonna comment this out and instead call this unmatch animation reference. So it's not an HTML div element, it's the create animation component. And then we can simply assign the reference here to our create animation uh, using a bunch of brackets. And same down here. This is the match animation reference, exactly. Now we once again have a connection to our uh, references and we can, uh, well, I'll leave it in here uh, just so we can remember it. 
And instead, we just have this one line of code where we grab the current animation and call play because all the settings for the animation are already defined down here in our create animation component. If I go now over the button, it once again works. We could probably have left like the second button like it was before so you can see the difference. Um, you can decide for yourself which one you uh, prefer. Uh, so for the second, for the create animation, you have everything nicely inside the HTML in most cases. Uh, you could probably even uh, make it play using use state and some click handling. However, um, the first one is more declarative where you got everything inside your JavaScript uh, and you can define it. Uh, pick the one that you prefer, but keep in mind that with Ionic and Create Animation, you can create nice uh, animations even inside Ionic React applications. All right, and that brings us to the end of today's quick win. I hope you enjoyed this quick introduction to using animations with Ionic React. I really enjoy the package because it's really easy to use and you can create powerful animations. And usually I've seen a lot of Ionic applications and they usually don't have enough animations. So we could all really use this component or this API a bit more often. If you enjoyed the video, please also make sure you hit the like button and stay subscribed to the channel for more ionic react angular swell everything videos coming in the future and of course also the live stream and i will hopefully catch you inside the next video so until then as always happy coding simon